Welcome to Archibald Car Shop today. It's Steve doing your walk around appraisal. We've got a Ford Cougar, it's a 2 litre diesel Titanium X Sport on a 65 plate, lovely colour magnetic. I'll just have a little walk around and show you around the car. Perhaps the video is just to show you there's no real bad damage on the car, that the car is as per the photos that we put up on the website. So, I'll start off with the front end. As I said, just to show you there's no real bad dents, scuffs, or scrapes. <coughs> so, front end all looking nice and tidy. Disappears on the wind, I do apologise. Onto the bonnet, all looking nice and tidy again. Obviously, it, it is a used car, it's not brand new, so it could have some minor wear and tear, maybe on stone chip or surface mark, but other than that, looking pretty good. So, that's all looking nice and tidy. It's the front passenger side. So we'll just work his way around to the rear bumper corner, all looking nice and tidy. Parking sensors on the rear, also does have a full colour reversing camera as well, this car. So onto the tailgate itself, again, looking nice and clean and tidy. So you've got the little button just under here, so I'll just step away so you can see it in operation. As you can see, the tailgate comes up. Revealing a nice big boot, plenty of room in there, lots of storage area. All looking nice and tidy, and then you've got your, your tonneau cover just here. Which slides, clicks into position. So it keeps everything secure, as you can see. Nice and tidy under them to release that. Obviously it just says on there, look, press. There you go. Let's let the door back down. You can see just up there we've got a little button. Let's just press the button. There's a button in the vehicle as well that you can use. So you see, absolutely fine. So very useful feature to have. Rear wheel bumper on this side, all looking good on the driver's side. Rear door, front driver's door. You can see my reflection there, let me get out of the way. Not much rather you see the car. The housing are looking good. Absolutely fine. So, quick look inside. Okay. Door card looking good. Can see no issues there. Electric windows, electric windows front to rear on this car. Nice leather upholstery. All looking very, very nice. Can't see no damage, no rips or tears or holes or anything. And uh, you've got Isofix on the two outer seats there. And then on the rear of the front uh, things, we've got the little picnic tables on both of those seats. That's great. A few passengers in the rear there. So that's all looking nice. So great look in the front. The driver's door card, all looking really nice. Self-locking system for security, so you can lock yourself in the vehicle if you wish when you're driving. Electric windows front and rear, isolated switch, so obviously just the driver can open them. Um, then you've got left and right, to your left and right electric door mirror, little joystick on the outside there, and then you've got the little black button there, which is your power fold mirrors for folding them in. And obviously they will fold in when you lock the vehicle as well. Driver's seat, again, full leather, looking nice, a little bit of wear and tear on the bolster there, so it's what you be expected. And you've got electric seat there, so you've got height adjustment, uh, lumbar support, and obviously back and forwards, so up and down, all the little bits that you need there. So let's have a quick look inside. In the car, let's see what we've got on here. So we'll start her up. It's really, really difficult because the sun's streaming through in front of me at the minute. So we've got voice activation just on here and the left and right is for answering telephone calls when you're connected to the car by Bluetooth. Uh, volume control up and down as well. Like I say, your middle one is for your voice activation commands. 
Uh, this one it just goes through the. Car needs a bit of fuel. Then do apologise about that. So you've got digital speedo. You can see there different bits and bobs you can get to you miles per gallon, all different stuff that you need for your trip computer. And then down here, you've got your uh, cruise control, your speed limiter as well. We've got keyless start, so keyless start and stop, so you don't need the key. And then over into the center. Again, it's a bit difficult, I'll just try. We have got a single slot CD player at the top. Get my hand there, does that help? No, not really. So this is the, uh, the sync system, so it's split into four. Top left, excuse my voice, the top left is your phone, so you can pair your phone up. Top right, it's got full colour sat nav. You just press there, you just press the disclaimer there, that should come up, there you go. So you've got satellite navigation, just press the home screen at the bottom, it takes you back to where you were. You've got climate control, bottom right, and then bottom left is your audio. It's on trips to Italy and Tenerife, a doctor's surgery. Which I'll just turn down. So, if you can just see that, like I say, it's a bit difficult. Oh, that's a bit better. AM, FM, you've got DAB, you've got CD, USB, um, preset radio stations. It's all really, it's all touch sensitive. It's very, very easy to use. It works absolutely fine. So, I'll just knock that back off. Okay. As I said, it does have a reversing camera. As you can see there. So, you can see the picture, obviously, the fence behind us. So, that's working absolutely fine as well as we go further down. So, you've just got the manual controls here for the audio. Retuning has a white line, so again the locking system there and the sound menu. And down here, and again it's a bit difficult to show you, but you can see we've got um, dual zone climate control. So you've got manual controls as well, aircon on and off, just set the temperature press automatic, heated windscreen, heated rear window, and there's your uh, tailgate opener just there. It's the intelligent stop start, you can turn that off if you wish. Six speed manual gearbox. And then my personal favourite at the minute, they've been so called. Uh, eat its seats in the front, 12 volts up there. Then you've got a couple of, a couple of good sized cup holders. And then under here, we've got a little box there. You can see there's a little, when it says lining under there, there's an SD card which works the sound off, and a couple of USB sockets as well. And then if I can just go up here, if I can show you. So a little button here, so if you press this button here, I'll reveal to you that you've got a can just see that on the camera we've got a full panoramic glass roof on a beautiful beautiful clear day like today that is looking fabulous um, the front the front section here is an electric tilt and slide sunroof as well which I'm not going to show you because it's too cold but as you can see that's working absolutely fine blind comes so far just in case you want to if you have kiddies in the back you'll it shut for them but opening the front let's press it again there you go so absolutely fine, just turn that engine off. Everything in here is absolutely spotless. I can't see no scraps, scratches, scrapes, damage on the plastics or the dashboard. It's all looking really, really good. Obviously I will put plenty of pictures on the website as well to accompany this video, which uh, hopefully won't have as much sun glare. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful car. Mileage we have got is, again, if I just get my hand in the way there, 43791 on the miles. So it's got what this car is just over four years old. So let's say about twelve thousand miles is average miles these days. So so it's, it's it's less than average miles on the car. So let's have a little walk round to the passenger side now. And just show you the door card there. Absolutely fine, looking great. Electric window switch, and again just show you the the upholstery from this side so you can see it's all looking absolutely fine no damage rips or tears or anything all looking good beautiful car great family car lots of room in it nice high up seat position beautiful to drive very comfortable uh, self-locking system again on the door card electric windows and then you've got the upholstery beautiful condition as well so there you go Ford Cougar two litre diesel Titanium X Sport in magnetic grey. Absolutely beautiful on a 65 plate. Looking beautiful today. It's in stock now. Thanks very much for watching the video.